Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away and it's Monday, we're going to start the week with Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's Build Your Own Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Right, today I'm actually going to finish issue 14. We have got two stages left, which are stages 49 and 50. Stages 49, we're doing the driver side rear workstation. And stage 50, we're doing the jump seat. There wasn't a lot to do in stage 49. In fact, if I was to do a video for that, guarantee it probably last about 15 seconds, which I'm sure you don't want. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be having issue 15 shortly as well. I have received a notification that something's coming. Not sure what that is. So I thought we'd get this done to where we're actually up to at the moment. But uh, let's show you what we've got to do. So as you can see, issue 49, we're doing the driver's side rear workstation. And all we're doing is we're just attaching um, sort of like a couple of little details on it. And that's it. Nothing really to do in that. Uh, so then we're going to jump to stage 50 straight away, where we're going to be doing one of the seats here. This is the jump seat. And we're going to be attaching that to the workstation that we just built. And then that will be that completed. Once again, coming in issue 15, we've got some more details for the workstation here. Uh, and it does look like we've got some more floor pans here, perhaps some control panels here as well. I'm not sure, it doesn't actually tell us what we've got coming, uh, but that could be coming anytime soon, so who knows. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, as you can see, this is issue 49. I'll just get all the things out for this. Well, they've all been hidden under there, actually. A couple of details and some screws here, so this. Is looking like that nice big bit of plastic this is but uh, let's go and start putting these details on okay the first thing we need is the foam cradle looking just like that as you can see we've got a screw hole here we've got a lug at the bottom that's just going to match these two areas down the bottom here so I can just push that in quite easily like that turn it round and in here we just want to put one EP screw just into that hole there I've got them already opened ready to go so is the first one going in just like that nice and tight and that is the foam cradle in stock in stock <laughs> installed and then the last thing we want to do is just the cradle for the phone that's just going to go into the bracket we installed it does have sort of like a keyhole pattern so we can match that with what we see there that will just go in like that so that fits flush like that and then we're just going to secure that at the other side once again with an EP screw. Now once this is in, oops, let's load that screw up properly. Once that's in, that's all there is to do in uh, stage 49. So you can see why I'm buddying this up with stage 50. But uh, there you go, that's the phone cradle in there. Got some fingerprints there, that's why. <sighs> Just get them off with my cloth here. There we go. Uh, just looking like that. So we're going to jump straight to stage 50, which funny enough is the jump seat. <laughs> so we get all of this out. Oh God, I'm on form on a Monday morning. That never happens. All right, let's get all of these pieces out. And basically we're going to mirror what we've been doing with the other seats. As you can see, these are small seats here. Uh, they've already got the foam in the back of them. This one just lied like that. Uh, but we actually just need to put the plates in this section here. Uh, the plates look just like this and what we need to do is just put these under here and make sure the flaps on the other side just go on top so that's one two we have done this before with the uh front seats that we put in that's three one more there we go a four so as you can see, all the tabs are in there, ready for the screws. And once again, like we did last time, the screws that are going in there are MP screws. So I've got them here. And we'll screw the four of these in. That's number one. I do like these seats because once again, you've got the cushion effect on these because of that sponge that's in there. Number two here. Number three, just over this far side here. Which leaves the one more just here. And that's excellent. That's just looking like that. 
Now we're going to be attaching the seat we just created to the seat back, looking like that. As you can see, we've got four holes here. We're going to match the four holes here. I've just been racking my brains to see if there's any difference if we have it up that way or that way. I don't think it matters at all, to be honest with you. It's perfectly symmetrical, so I'm going to line that up, turn it over. We're going to be putting some EP screws in this side. So I've got those screws here. Let's put them in. Here's the first one. That's one. the last uh, chair we did I think issue 48 was it someone counted that I had 50 screws or something that I was putting in quite a few two more though on just this section here to put in number three and finally just one down the end there number four then we want the jump seat connector which looks just like this. This is just gonna go into the two holes at the bottom. It's actually gonna be like a trough, so it's actually just gonna sit over the top, just like that. And we're gonna screw it from the other side, just with some HP screws. Now there's quite a few different kinds of screws in this pack. They are all provided, which is handy. I don't have to uh, look through my treasure trove of screws that I've got from this build so far. To be honest with you, I did have a pillbox, but uh, I haven't had to use it once yet because uh, they do provide ample screws and uh, ample spares as well. So uh, that's that's a really good thing, to be honest with you. There we go. So that's in looking like that. Now we're going to assemble the base of the seat, which again looks just like that. But this time we're going to be putting this base in. Once again, we're going to be putting these sections just over the top when we put this in but this time as you can see we've got some uh, edges on here they are going to need to go into the holes that you can see either side here so when we put this in we need to sort of like push down on it and get them in first so that side's in lovely so you can see that they're coming out the side now and then we just need to work our way around here getting the whole seat into place and there all in ready to go once again we're going to hold these in place with MP screws we need four of these but as I just said they do provide ample for these that's the first one in here's the second There's the third, and lastly, we've got one more, which is just at the top there, number four. So there we go, that's the base of the seat in place, and that looks just like that. Now we need to get the bracket here. The bracket has got a lug in the center, which is gonna go into that hole there. It's gonna sit in here, but it's gonna hold this in place, which is gonna be the uh, pull down mechanism for the jump seat. So basically, this is gonna go in kind of like put that in kind of like that there uh, we're going to secure this in with ep screws so i've got them already loaded up here there's the first one and one just on the other side there excellent so that should now be free to actually push down and up like that all we've got to do then is just marry this bottom bit of the seat with the top section. As you know, we've created these holes just into the side here. They're just going to slot in here like that. And they're going to be connected either side, the holes here, with AP screws. Now earlier in the build, AP screws were a screw to go to. We had hundreds of them. But uh, as the build's progressed, I haven't seen as many, I have to say. So let's get these in either side. One that side, and we'll put one in the other side here. Just like that, they've got in nice and easy. And then all we need to do is we need to attach this to the workstation that we worked on in stage 49. Uh, we've got two massive lugs in the back there and a locating lug. Obviously that's just gonna put into that section just like that put it in 
So we're going to need to put two screws in here, and they are IP screws. This is the last screw that we've got in this pack. And when I say in this pack, I mean the whole issue, all four packs. Because this, once this is in tight, is all there is to do in this stage. Uh, we are going into plastic here, so just don't over tighten this. It doesn't need to be over tightened. Just enough to get some tension in there. And there we go, that's the jump seat in place. Looking pretty good, isn't it? So there you go, nice simple one to start Monday with. I can't wait to get issue 15. I really do hope that comes this week because I'd like to get uh, cracking on that and seeing some more of the interior as it comes ahead. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Also, if you want to get this for yourself, I've put the link down here uh, just for the Eagle Moss and Hero Collector websites. You can actually order through those links there. It just says that you've come from the World of Wayne website. If you're in the US, follow the US one. And if you're in the UK, follow the UK one. Other than that, take care.